oh, six o'clock local time check this out this one was happening overnight <laughs> so i was parked there like i don't know five inches away from that uh, pickup truck guy he was very nice you know i said you okay like this because i said there's nowhere to park because um i get up in the morning you know to go grab coffee and, I, and then when i came back i saw that this this uh, spot to the right of my machine was empty so i was able you know see like my machine is uh on the line there right so nobody can back in there unless you're totally nuts and so i just quickly moved in here so now this is a real spot you know full size so now all i gotta do is just i cannot i cannot drive till it's uh sunrise anyway this these people especially this flatbed and of course now this there's, there's already empty spots you know you can move but of course he's sleeping but the way he parked the way he parked you know it caused so much you know uh, digestion here you know indigestion let's say very heavy traffic and I went inside and I'm getting coffee and a nice nice girl was stalking the the empty cups and she says uh, morning you're doing okay you know and for me that was not a, a rhetoric question I said well I'm okay but a lot of other people you know somebody is gonna get killed at this truck stop I said uh, it's a new truck stop why did you build it so small well did your management why did your management build it so small yeah and she says yeah you see how people have to go like this and it's all one way so there's no exit like what the problem with this truck stop is that you enter over there behind the pumps and you exit through the same road and so it's all supposed to be one nice smooth one-way street like you see people from the pump and of course this is that's why it's a very bad location uh for me to park because there's constant traffic right like you don't want to you don't want to park like this where people that where there's always trucks passing in front of you all night you know especially when this kind of like exit artery is half blocked by these flatbed and prime ink over there and another flatbed and so this was going on all night like this you know i don't know i woke up probably i don't know 20 times you know and then i'm afraid uh, for my machine somebody's gonna hit it but that's why i put those cones in like this but anyway the girl uh, from love she says well i guess they didn't anticipate so much you know demand um that there'll be so many trucks and i said well all they had to do was look at the little app called trucker path and see where's other available truck stops are and i can tell you that there's like tiny truck stops but like from here the nearest one is that's where I'm, i want to go is uh, shell probably like 25 spots and then there's uh half an hour after that north i mean east no north on 55 there's another loves and she says yeah that's how they when they build them they want to space love Love's truck stops two hours apart and I said yeah but it's not enough it's like super busy like this highway 40 I-40 you know I was driving yesterday like every 10 seconds somebody's passing you know you look in the mirror uh, it's like a, there's a caravan caravan of of trucks and uh, it was all night like this all night you see all those guys there there's guys in the front they just fueled right and now of course they they went and they're, they're taking a shower and so people behind them are stuck 
<laughs> no, I'm telling you. Happens, well, doesn't happen, but usually out of like a few people, there's always one idiot who decides to, when he gets fuel and he pulls forward, he goes and, and he and he uh, stands in the long line at the fast uh, food place and and then he decides he needs the, to use the bathroom again and so by the time he comes out the guy behind him is like white and red with fury and he cannot back out because there's another guy behind him i'm telling you so that that's why i think some of these truck stops they have a sign that says weapons are prohibited <laughs> Because if you give a, if you give a, like a, you know, if you give a gun to a trucker here, somebody will get shot, I guarantee it. But I'm a peaceful Canadian. Like I always say, I wouldn't even know where to buy a gun in Canada because it's all underground. Like in Canada, you have to be a member of some uh, club I think like a hunting club you cannot just go and buy a gun like there's no sh there's no stores like that like here in the states well i finally uh, i had to go and knock on the guy's door and uh, ask that flatbed guy to leave and then there's two spots where are empty now right so now i don't have to do a u-turn I can just go, like you see, there's three spots empty towards my right. This guy is still sleeping in the middle of the of the driveway. And my pickup friend is still there. But now we can go. So actually it's it's better than what I thought it would be because I don't want to turn around with this thing you see now the truck stop is half empty but man after six o'clock it was a zoo and as you can see 99% it's all dry vans and most of them are reefers so it's all produce Now check this out this is the entrance and exit right and people park like this and they create a huge congestion when you try to get out or get in like look at this and this guy has conveniently uh, he's flashing his lights I'm guessing he broke down in the middle of the driveway Can, can't wait to get out of here there's no way I'm coming back to this crazy place ever again I'm just gonna show you a little detour because this is the only detour I have to make in in Arkansas so uh, I-40 is over there but I'm going this way so this is what 63 yeah US 63 
that's where it is. So it's just three kilometers south. Wait a second. What do you want me to turn around over there? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I'm gonna show you this uh, 63 south and then 70 east. And then I'm jumping back on I-40 via 33 North. So this little detour here is probably 15, 20 minutes. So gonna be some driving video for you guys. Your, uh, your fix in the morning. Something's telling me that land over here it's not it shouldn't be that expensive. You know, this is Arkansas for crying out loud. This is not like New York State. Long Island or something. I'm just thinking still about that last truck store, why they didn't make it bigger, you know. six wide with something and I had to use a pilot car over here in Arkansas and you know of course we're driving we're talking on the radio and I was asking the guy and he was local I was asking him about so what what state is the best to live in I said hey I, I want to move to US you know And he was saying, he says he was born in Arkansas and still he still thinks it's the one of the uh, best states. He says everything is cheap. Everything is cheap, he says it's literally, it's, uh, you know, not that much crime. You know, real estate is cheap, he says, especially if you go into like a little bit away from a uh, big city. Alright, where's 70? Come on. Oh, it's probably... I see there's a stop sign. Alright, there you go. This is 70. No, we're not turning right, we're turning left. Yeah, 70 east. East south front. East south. So if you keep talking, I'm gonna shut you down. You want me to do that? I think actually I've been here before. Yeah, this looks familiar. You know this. 600 meters, turn right onto North Water Street. This corner with these uh, with these trucks over here. kilometers to uh, 33 north oh wow a big 
bigger oversized load with a rock truck. And it uh, looks like a Mac Titan. Okay, where are we turning over here? Yeah, turn left to I-40, okay. this guy go 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 come on come on hey Peter Bill let's go Flashing my lights at him. Seven kilometers to I forty. Now, here we go again. I thought we were done with the backward roads, and that detour I did in Arkansas, yeah, that was the last detour in Arkansas. Unfortunately, when I stopped to print out my newly received uh, permits for Missouri and Illinois turns out 90% of my miles in Missouri are on secondary roads and first off I wanted just to take 55 and then enter Illinois on I-57 but my permit broker says that's not gonna happen because uh, at that point where I-57 enters Illinois there's a uh, construction and oversized loads are limited to 10 feet wide and she said I have to take you north on 55 all the way to St. Louis and then go on 255, you know, like a south, like a big bypass and enter Illinois from 255. And I'm like, okay, I know of course that adds a lot of miles, but what do you do? And then I look at my permit and yeah, they did send me on 55 uh, into Missouri, but only for about 20 miles. 17 17 miles then i had to take uh, exit 17 b yeah, if you want to track me so i entered missouri from arkansas on i-55 but then i had to take exit 17 b and take us 412 west to kennett 412 and then at 412 the first light that's uh, Missouri 25 and that's what I'm I'm doing now uh, basically highway 25 and then it's gonna merge with uh, US 62 East 
and then it, it's gonna I'm gonna stay on 25 again north until I reach US 60 so basically it's like this but the longest the longest I'll be on US 67 because US 67 it runs parallel to I-55 and so I go pretty much all the way to St. Louis on that US 67 I hope it's a divided highway and then I jump it connects with I-55 just a few miles south of uh, 255 and so yeah I do go into Illinois on 255 but for now it's gonna be basically Missouri 25 all the way to US 60 West and then US 67 North and then hook up with I-55 North and then take I-255 South around St. Louis towards uh, towards I-55 but already on the on the Illinois side I found uh, 62 it's way up north there maybe 10 more miles okay so 25 is this way I don't need 53 I'm staying on 25 yeah so I I, I keep to the right So this is now joint US 62 Missouri 25. Yeah, so I'm already down down to the middle of my list. That's always good, you know. I like to see progress how I'm kind of like checking things off the list. Just the road gets a bit bumpy. I saw a plane somewhere here by the way another uh, dust cropper crop duster how people live in in Missouri see fields 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 Oh, you see K 
case. Probably this guy might have something like this, you know? It's a case dealer. And I see they have those huge tires. But... Ah, it's okay. I'll find something later. Because I, I, I don't want to do it right now. I'll do it when I stop for the night. Oh, check out. Now there's a plane crossing in front of me over the highway. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right there. And he's spreading the poison there over, over the crop. 